protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Well, the mainstream media has not been a trusted source for news for some time now, but it's reached new levels. And it's amazing seeing how so many people dislike Donald Trump, don't trust the Trump administration, but yet they still distrust the mainstream news more. I'm joined in studio by Leanne McAdoo. Leanne, this is the story I'm talking about here. Trump administration seen as more truthful than news media, according to an Emerson College poll. Does this surprise you? It doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, Tucker Carlson just actually, uh, actually had an editor for USA Today on a show, David Mastio. He was responsible for approving a piece titled What Bannon Shares with ISIL Leader. So he's basically saying that Donald Trump's right-hand man there, Steve Bannon, uh, has too much in common with leader of ISIS. This is why people can't trust him. They're basically saying our, our, our administration is lined up now with radical Islam. It's well, it's absurd. The claims that they're trying to make against Steve Bannon, they just seem to get more absurd as the day goes by. Right. But here's some of the numbers that were uh, coming out of this poll. The administration is considered truthful by 49% of the voters while the news media is only considered truthful by 39% of the voters, 60, now this is a telling one right here, 69% of Democrats think the news media is truthful. Hmm. That's because they only watch CNN, I'm sure. 91% of Republicans consider the mainstream news untruthful. Wow. How about that dynamic? That's pretty impressive too, considering Fox News is really the only conservative uh, news site that's out there and it's very highly watched. So there's still 91% of Republicans distrusting of them because they can see how they've been treating this administration as well as ramping up this civil unrest. I mean, we are really truly on the brink of civil unrest in this country. When you talk about Fox News, I think that Fox is kind of not necessarily clinging to life right now, but they are bolstering their reputation, I think, in some conservatives' minds with people like Sean Hannity, and his coverage of the election, obviously Tucker Carlson has come to fame here recently. Even Lou Dobbs, I think, has been appreciated by a lot of people on the conservative side lately. But because they're the mainstream news, because they're the TV news, there's that kind of just inherited, inherited distaste, I think, in people's mm -hmm. mouth that you just can't really get out. Well, the thing is, is that people can see that they have such an agenda that they're willing to push that agenda no matter what, even if it means that they're putting the safety of you and your family in this country in jeopardy. A uh, perfect example is uh, just this pushback with Trump's executive order, even though we have video with Bill Clinton and President Obama saying the exact same thing about right. we need to stem uh, the tide of these potential terrorists coming in the nation, building the wall. I mean, they're all saying the same thing decade after decade. And uh, so Donald Trump is, is out there saying, look, this judge is going to say that uh, they've had zero arrests since 9-11 with terrorists. Well, I'm going to go ahead and release this list of two dozen terror suspects that have been allowed in to the U.S. from these banned countries. And that's why people are more trusting of Donald Trump than they are of the media, because he is not afraid to push back against the media and say, look, you're calling me a liar. Well, I'm going to give the people the facts. And it's really interesting. We have here another neocon conservative pundit, uh, Bill Kristol, who also, um, let's see, the website, I don't have it right in front of me, but he uh, is saying that lazy white working class Americans should be replaced by immigrants. So he's basically spelling out the agenda of these globalists saying that uh, your average white American is lazy, decadent, and spoiled. And he says, don't you want to replace them with the new Americans that are coming in? That's their plan. They want to replace your average white working class American with the new immigrants, the new people who are going to be willing to allow the government to take care of their every need. Well, hopefully there's going to be so many jobs that, you know what, we can have immigrants working, Americans working, hopefully all Americans. Hopefully we don't have to deal with these illegal workers or illegal citizens for too much longer. At least that's what Trump is saying. <laughs> but it is interesting how they are kind of pushing that narrative. Again, though, it's really just an anti-establishment, but like not even, it's like they just, it's totally against the white man. That's what it is. It's against the white man, white less man. white men working, white more man. immigrants working. That's what they're saying. Well, listen, speaking of that racist stuff. Uh, yes, and now, Chris okay, Cuomo. CNN Chris Cuomo <laughs> says fake news insult is equivalent of the N-word for journalists. It's equivalent. So you wonder why you're not trusted. Fake news, if calling them fake news is like calling them the N-word, basically. So, yeah, 
let's see the kind of pushback they, they get from that. Wow. <laughs> And you wonder why the Trump administration is more trusted than the mainstream news. Not shocking with They're people like divas. Chris Como with CNN, a total fake news host. In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalists. InfoWars Prime, where you can watch live high definition feeds of the Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind the scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. And if you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.